Good morning, Rangers! It's your favorite anchors. Today is Friday, 8th November 2024. I'm Aliha. And I'm Arisha. And, and welcome, welcome back to CTV. Today, there is a basketball match between Clements and Manuel High School at MHS starting 4 p.m. And tomorrow, there is a girls basketball match against Wharton High School starting 11 a.m. at CHS Competition Gym. We also have a varsity football game tomorrow versus Travis High School at Mercer Stadium starting 11 a.m. It's the last football game of the season, Rangers, so be sure to come out and support our football team one last time. Seniors, November 13th is the deadline to submit all requests to your counselor for application deadlines through December 1st or December 15th. November 22nd is the deadline to submit all the requests for the application deadline on January 1st. This will help your counselor provide the best support for your applications. Don't hesitate to reach out to your counselor if you have any questions or need assistance. Remember, Rangers, today is the voting for the kindest teacher at Clemens between Mrs. Bedillo and Mrs. Dunn. Now, let's go to a debate between our two candidates. How does kindness apply to Ranger Pride? Well, um, one of the letters of Ranger Pride is I for integrity, and that means doing the right thing, even when no one's looking, even when it's hard. And I think even on our hard days when we're having those big human moments, I think knowing that supporting each other and being kind to one another, even if it's hard, is a sign of integrity, that you're willing to do something for the community as a whole, um, even if sometimes we don't want to, that, but we're gonna choose kindness over revenge or being vindictive or our own personal pride, but choosing kindness is, is always the right thing to do. Kindness applies to Ranger pride in so many different ways, um, but the ultimate way is just showing respect to your fellow peers in your community and everyone around you. Um, if you can show kindness, it makes the world a better place. How does kindness improve the school environment? I think kindness improves the school em environment um, when it enables you to show empathy towards others um, and just showing that you care about people and that you're here for people and you try and put yourself in their shoes and understand what they're going through. Um, whether you're a student or a teacher, those are ways that we can improve um, our campus culture and climate. I think high school's hard, no matter what grade you're in, no matter if you are a student or a teacher, high school just has a lot coming at you all at once from grades and athletics and social pressures. And I think that if we as a Ranger family could support each other and show that kindness in the hallways, show that kindness in the classroom when our peers are talking, when our teachers are talking, as a teacher, when our students are, are showing that they're struggling, if we can just reach out and show that kind of kindness and empathy, I think we're all gonna be able to collectively um, be more successful through our high school years. What is the easiest way for you to be kind? I think the easiest way to show kindness is just to smile at people. Um, smiling is a universal way to show that you are glad to see someone and that you're glad that they're here. I think the easiest way to show kindness is just by being present, is just being there for people, whether they, as a teacher, if they're a student in my classroom or not, if I see someone in the hallway, I'm gonna acknowledge them, especially if they're dressed up for spirit days, right? But just being there when a student needs you, when a coworker, a staff needs you, just being present and willing to listen and support them however they need, I think that's the epitome of kindness. The next freshman experience will take place on Wednesday, November 13th in the library during all three lunches. This session focuses on stress management and how to manage your time and stress levels. You will also learn about some yoga and breathing techniques that can help you feel more calm. Remember Rangers, doors will close after the first 10 minutes and there will also be a sweet treat for all who attend. This is your chance to pick up some killer tips for keeping cool, cool calm, calm and, and collected, collected when things get hectic. 
Registration is now open for the F is equals to MA exam and physics bowl. If you're interested in participating, please scan the QR code displayed on the screen to register. The deadline to sign up for both events is January 12th, 2025. These are great opportunities for students to showcase their physics, knowledge, and skills. If you have any questions about the registration process or the events themselves, feel free to reach out. There's a lot going on in the world today. Oliver, take it away. It is November 8th, 2024, and these are your top headlines. Our top story today, courtesy of Sky News, the European Union's climate change servers recently declared that 2024 will, once again, be the hottest year on record. Temperatures are expected to finish around 3 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than pre-industrial averages, which many climatologists see as another reminder of climate change's increasing pace. Average temperatures are expected to continue to increase. In other news, courtesy of NBC, Australia is voting on a social media ban for children under 16 years old. The country's Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, said it was time to end the harm social media was causing on the nation's children. The law, if ratified, will come into effect November of next year. And finally, on a lighter note, courtesy of UPI, a 26-year-old message in a bottle was found on the northern coast of Ontario Lake by a fourth grader. The brief message about primary school was eventually returned to its sender. The author of the note said it made her feel emotional that one of her bottles eventually turned up. Well, that'll wrap it up. This is all of CTV, and those were your top headlines. Thank you, Oliver. Waves of Aid and Rock Music Club are having a fundraiser talent show and are looking for musicians, dancers, comedy skit groups, and more. The deadline to sign up is 17th November, so scan the QR code to register. The talent show will take place on December 14th. Aliyah, what's like the weather up there? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Let's ask Koa. Hey yo, what up Ranger? It's Koa in here and how's your weather? The weather is... Not going to be really good today with the overcast skies and a slight chance of rain. The highest temperature is going to be 84 degrees and the lowest 67 degrees with 75% of humidity. Moving tonight, the wind speed is going to be from 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's going to be 70% chance of rain, Rangers, so it's not going to be good tonight. Actually, that's all for today, Ranger. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Koa. Care for Kiddos will be making domestic violence care packages to support and spread awareness for domestic abuse against children and families. The meeting will be on November 20th at 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. in Mr. Robertson's room, 2102. Please make sure to stop by to support those impacted by domestic violence. Congratulations to Mr. Tilki who won yesterday's trivia. Today's trivia question is, what is the only letter in the English alphabet that is not used in any spelling of the 50 American state names? That's it for today, Rangers. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend. I, I know, know you'll, you'll miss us. us. Bye. Bye.